Hello everybody, I'm Steve aka Steve Ninja and welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of movie reviews, a lot of 4K Blu-ray reviews, a lot of uh, free digital code giveaways. I do a uh, you know, Criterion reviews. I do all kinds of stuff. I, I love to pr promote movie theaters and movies and get people to go to see movies and then talk about movies and just enjoy them as much as I do. Obviously, I, I love movies here. You see my uh, all the movies behind me here, but... Uh, but last night I actually saw a movie called The Black Phone. It was at an AMC theater. This movie runs at 103 minutes. And this is going to be a spoiler review, spoiler-free review. You know, I kind of give a brief overview of it, uh, and because I'd really encourage people to see this. And, and obviously, it's going to get overshadowed by Elvis this weekend. But you know, most people don't. See, some people that love horror wouldn't wouldn't see a movie like Elvis. But I'm going to see it. I'm going to see them both. You know, because I I just love movies. And like I said, so. Uh, but this movie is uh, directed by Scott Derrickson. He's a, also the writer, co a co-writer of the movie. Uh, it's a, has a he's he's also worked on the movies, uh, you know, Sinister, Sinister Two. He also directed Doctor Strange in 2016, and I thought he did a great job of this. You know, really make, giving it that late 70s kind of look, uh, and then he really captured that 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 time period. I thought uh, the, the movie, uh, you know, at that time they they did a lot of. Uh, you know, child abduction kind of stuff was kind of a, a scare at that, that time. I thought it really kind of you know, kind of captured that kind of theme for this movie. But uh, the movie is, has a, you know, starring Ethan Hawke. I thought he did a great job in this. It had a uh, Jeremy Davies, uh, anybody that's uh, familiar with, you know, Twister, he was in that. You know, he was also in a movie that was filmed in Indianapolis uh, back in the late 90s called Going All the Way, it was, you know, based on a book by the same title and... Uh, he also had a co-starred co you know, co like Ben Affleck and had Rose McGowan and Rachel Weisz and had a lot of these young stars at the time and Ben Affleck obviously being the, the biggest star at the time but uh, but uh, you know I, I'm sure most people have never seen the movie it, it was only played in like art houses and it had a very limited run and I, I own it on DVD and had to pay a lot to get it so but anyways uh, you know back to the back to the black phone but uh there, there were two young stars in this movie that, that were, I thought were really, really great. Uh, they're both uh, American st actors. Uh, one is uh, Mason Thames. He's 14, and it had, had the character that played his sister in the movie, uh, Madeline McGraw. She's 13. It's, it's, they have some interesting abilities in this movie, and you know, I, I thought, uh, thought it was really, really great. And So th this is uh, based on a book written by Joe Hill you know, by the same title, The Black Phone. And he's uh, obviously people people that know Joe Hill. Joe Hill, he's uh, the son of Stephen King, and he's like 50 years old now. He's, he's done a lot of like horror novels and stuff over the years, and and he looks a lot like his dad now. It, it, as he gets older, with the gray hair and uh, you know facial hair, and uh, it's just amazing how much he looks like him. Mean, I think he wears glasses as well, so looks just like Stephen King. And uh, I thought he did it, his story was really great. And this is a, a Blumhouse production. It's actually an original IP, which. Anybody that knows you know, Jason Blum, he's done a lot of remakes, like like the Halloween remake, and he's talking about doing a Nightmare on Elm, Elm Street remake and that kind of stuff. So he's bringing back a lot of old older movies and older IPs and, and remaking them, but this one's a, an original. This movie has a film score from Mark Corvin. He's worked with Robert Eggers on movies like The Witch and Lighthouse, The Lighthouse, you know. And I thought he did a really great job of giving this like an eerie sound throughout the movie that that was really really dark because you know subject matter is really dark and it, it was filmed in North Carolina and there's a lot of like you know a lot of rain in the movie really really dark tones to it that gives it really more of an eerie kind of look and, and feel to it and it has the movie also has some great 70s music as well to I thought really really brought you into that period kind of like uh, Dazed Dazed and Confused did years ago you know just bringing that with some great 70s music that uh, really really brings you into that period and I uh, really love that so uh, the movie uh, was getting like an 86% on Rotten Tomatoes and as I was writing this I actually saw it had changed to 83% so I you know despite that I think it's still you know still still a great movie and I, I gave it four and a half stars out of five on on Letterboxd and that's uh, based on like a horror scale, you know. It's not not based on uh, like a, a a great dramatic movie or anything, but uh, just on a on a horror scale, I, I gave it four and a half out of five. The movie was was released at the Fantastic Fest in September twenty fifth of two 
2021, but I would call I would call this a 2022 movie. It's being released in the U.S. on on June 24th, 2022. So I would call this a, a, a 2022 movie. You know, even though if you if you look it up on uh, uh, IMDb, it says 2021, but you know it's it's a it's a movie from this year though. Tomorrow I'm planning on probably going to see Elvis with my uh, stepdad, and like I said, I'm going from one horror movie to to historical kind of movie like that. So. Some people will see them both. You know, if you if you have a AMC A list or Regal Unlimited, you, you see all movies. You know, it's a, it, those those two memberships allow you to see anything you want. So, I always encourage people to to, to check out those memberships if you, if you love to see movies a lot in the theater, like I do. So, but uh, please uh, consider putting a like on the video and have a good night. Thank you.